NBC5 investigates has just learned important new information about the gun police recovered after the shooting of 13-year-old Adam Toledo. Phil Rogers, what did you find out? Allison, these are documents we received tonight via a Freedom of Information request pertaining to the shooting of 13-year-old Adam Toledo. Among the 118 pages of documents we received were an inventory report of items recovered from the scene. They show that the weapon recovered at the scene from the school lot, about eight feet from Adam Toledo's body, the weapon he was holding, and it was believed that he threw as he whirled toward Officer Eric Stillman, was a nine millimeter Ruger pistol. Prosecutors also talked about that gun in court. And this inventory report says that the magazine of that gun was empty. There were no bullets. Now there are two important notes here. That's the same weapon which police say had been fired at least eight times minutes earlier. Those were the shots which drew Officer Stillman and his colleagues to the scene. But perhaps more importantly, the officer would have had no way of knowing the gun was empty if he saw it in Adam Toledo's hand just prior to the youth whirling toward him. This matter is, of course, still under investigation by COPA and other entities, but this is certain to be at least noted as those investigations move forward. And of course, it compounds the tragedy that the youth failed to drop a weapon when he was commanded to do so, and that weapon turned out to have no bullets at all. Reporting live, Phil Rogers, NBC5 News. Phil, thank you.